Hi everybody. I wanted to um, elaborate on a video I recently did about um, how narcissists abuse punctuation in, uh, in their text messages and digital messages. Uh, I had a lot of uh, good questions in the comments. Well, a lot by my small channel standards. Uh, YouTube has no love for people that have no interest in monetizing. If you don't monetize, they don't really advertise your channel a whole lot because they're not making any money on it. So, <clears throat> but, um, you know, I, I had a lot of really good questions about um, different styles of punctuation. So, let, let's go over the, the, the different types of punctuations that, that they abuse uh, and what it means. So, there is, uh, first of all, the complete lack of punctuation. And there is, there is sometimes a legit purpose for having no punctuation whatsoever. And that's if you're using speech recognition uh, and you just sit there and just talk it all out. You can usually recognize speech recognition if there's a word used that doesn't make sense. And so you have to kind of sort of read it and sound it out in your head. And, and figure out what they actually meant. You know, there's, um, <clears throat> it's usually, it doesn't make any grammatical sense, their word choice. Otherwise, um, if they're typing and not using punctuation, you'll usually see like a, a, a typo, like a misspelling, a miscapitalization, uh, you know, a word where they deleted and, and then kept writing so the, the sentence just does not make grammatical sense uh, then you know that they're intentionally leaving out uh, punctuation so I would say that no punctuation is a form of punctuation right um, the other types uh, the period and the exclamation mark kind of sort of serve opposite purposes uh, the exclamation mark turns the volume up makes it louder more exciting adds energy to it the period takes the energy away from it, lowers the energy, um, makes everything calmer and quieter. Uh, the ellipses, um, which is three periods in a row, they're, they're known as ellipses. The ellipses uh, creates an expectation. So uh, when, when you have the dot, 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 that means something else is coming. And so you, you anticipate it and, and you you have an expectation that something else is coming. And so it, it rests in your head. Um, the question mark is by far the most versatile punctuation mark um, that we have in, in the English character set. It, it's the, the one that has leaves the, the most open to interpretation. Um, it's the one that they can gaslight you on the most. And that's one reason why they, they love so many questions and uh, asking all of them questions, asking all of them questions, making statements and assuming. You know, they're, with, with the question mark, they can always put it back on you for misinterpreting what they mean. Because a question mark, it can be interrogative, but it can also be accusatory. Why would you do that? Question mark. Right? Or a combination of question marks and ooh, potholes. Not question marks and potholes. Um, it can always be a, a, like a combination of question marks and exclamation marks to be sound accusatory, right? Or, you know, asking a very loud question. Why would you do that? You know, so... Uh, they, they, they'll, they'll combine the two. But the question mark, like I said, it's the one that, that is most uh, conducive to gaslighting when you want to make somebody believe that they misinterpreted something you said. Um, and so that's why you see a lot of question marks. As a matter of fact, it's almost as if they don't have any other punctuation keys except for the exclamation mark and the question mark when they're screaming at you and, and making accusations. Um, that's how. Um, now, why, why, why do all this? So it's like I said in, in the previous videos, uh, several things. Number one, there can never be peace with a narcissist. And this is a repeating theme uh, in my videos. 
there there will never be peace. Like people want to calm peaceful existence, not a narcissist. Narcissists need conflict. They need to beat you down because they have this overly inflated ego. They think they're really hot shit, but they, they think they're better than everybody else. But in, in walking the walks of life, they start to see all these evidences just around, around town that they might just actually be a normal person. They can't really deal with that. So they need, they have this need if I guess if you want to feel like you're a great war general, then you need to have wars to win, right? If you're uh, an awesome war general and you go too long without a war, you might start wondering, am I am I getting soft? Am I am I weak now? Like how, how do I? Because I haven't had a, a a battle, so I need to just you know check my skills, right? And everybody does this. Everybody does a little skill check from time to time. Make sure I still got it, you know? Yeah, I still got it, right? But they they have this need to like do that on a daily basis like yeah i still got it i still got it i can still whoop you virtually on, on a on a text message not physically because because i'm actually a giant pussy um so so they, they have this need you'll never have peace with a narcissist because they want the fight they don't they don't care about what it is they're accusing you about especially in co-parenting situations when they're accusing you of, of stuff with, with the kids. They don't care about your relationship with the kids. They don't care about being right or wrong. Um, they're not there to help you. They even don't have any feelings about the accusation. Um, most often in a co-parenting situation, they're doing it to find out the truth because you'll, you'll give up the truth and tell them the truth about what's going on in your house by trying to set the record straight. And that's a, a well-known hack in psychology and um, arguing and, and debate theory. Uh, if you want somebody to be honest and you know that by default they're just not gonna be forthcoming, then what you do is you hurl a false accusation at them that has a little bit of a truthy aftertaste to it. You, you, you send them an overwhelmingly false accusation and then, uh, and then you, you get really, really mad at them. And that makes them want to set the record straight, uh, you know, and correct the record. Well, so it's like, um, you know, you can be wrong about anything and they're wrong on purpose. Like they do it on purpose. Like you don't understand. When they accuse you of stuff, they know they're wrong. They don't care about being right or wrong. As a matter of fact, they usually want to be wrong because it makes the argument more fun, especially if they can win, right? Because then they feel even better. Like I'm so good at arguing that I can win the argument even from the, the, the wrong point of view. Uh, that it makes them feel better to beat you into submission where you say, whatever, never mind, it's not worth it. They're like, ha, 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 yeah. You know, they really get an emotional charge off of that. And so that's how the punctuation fits in with these text messages. Chances are, if you're watching this video and you have children um, and you're getting angry messages from your narcissistic ex with a lot of question marks and a lot of exclamation marks, that's them just wanting to fight you. They don't give a shit about what it is that they're actually yelling at you. They just want the fight, you know? And a great way to reverse it, and this is something else that I've, I've, I've put in there. Uh, I've got a video on savage hoovering responses. You know, you just point out, it's like, well, less than an hour with having the children right now. And I see you're, you're already, you're already prioritizing fighting with your ex over getting the kids ready for school in the morning or, you know, taking care of the kids, feeding them dinner and all that, you know, why is this, a, this like, this shouldn't be a priority for you. You know, always, always, always wear the, 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 the big red X, you know, the, the scarlet letter. Always wear your status as an ex and wear it proudly. I see you're back to texting your ex instead of watching the kids, you know? First thing off your mind is once you have the kids, I, I, the most important thing to you is apparently having a conflict, right? You don't actually care about the kids being there except for give mommy or daddy some information to fight about, you know? Uh, vice versa, you know, if they're trying to ruin your weekend, just say, it. well, I see you're back to texting your ex on a Saturday. Obviously, you didn't go out on a date because you're broke or because you don't have anyone that wants to be with you. So here you are texting your ex. I've got plans. 
don't be pathetic get a life go get laid you know you send them, send them back on their way always wear the badge of X proudly and make them realize how pathetic they look that's that's the solution to it um, uh, now one other thing I because I forgot this one in the list the ellipses I believe I mentioned them in the beginning ellipses can be uh, hugely abusive as well um, because it builds up an expectation and it's it makes it stick in your head and you can't get it out until there's a resolution so a good example of this there was a uh, viral prank campaign and I heard about this on on the radio a few years ago and that is you send somebody uh, like a, a loved one like a, a boyfriend or girlfriend or spouse or somebody important like a boss <clears throat> you send them the message of of hey so I haven't been completely honest with you about something dot 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 and then you go quiet for an hour and then after an hour you tell them something innocuous like I bought a pair of shoes <clears throat> right and they're like Jesus Christ you've had me hanging on edge for the last hour to tell me about a pair of shoes be like sorry I was about to tell you that but then you know my boss showed up blah blah, blah you play it off but so many people would like lose their shit and they'd be like like I knew it. I knew you were cheating. Blah blah blah. There was there were like cases where a guy did that to uh, to the girlfriend, and the girlfriend was like, "I knew it. I knew you were cheating on me. You know, I fucked your brother. You know, like like all kinds of like crazy shit like came out. And it's like whoa, 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 right? So so a lot of people found out that their relationships weren't as good as they thought. Um, but it's also it's not really funny to to play with people's feelings and emotions like that. Uh, and the ellipses will do that. So anytime that there's a, like a, a short text that, that ends with ellipses, it's really important to recognize they're doing that on purpose. Uh, the, and it's, it's well documented if you look in uh, pickup arts and dark psychology. Dark psychology is, is a new moniker for uh, seduction, the unethical seduction, I'll, I'll say. So you, somebody who use, is using, it's the use of seduction science in unethical ways to destroy somebody emotionally or produce a negative emotional outcome right it's not cool at, at all uh, and it's it's science and it works right so uh, it's it, it just I think everybody should google and research this thing like like ways to make women obsess over you ways to make men obsess over you ways to make people obsess over you and this is one of them you build up the expectation and you leave them hanging it the subconscious it goes to the subconscious and the subconscious is constantly processing it uh, and you can't let it go because it's not in your actual conscience conscience you're trying to go about your day doing other stuff but your subconscious won't let it go and it exhausts you it exhausts you until it finally gets resolved and once it gets resolved you're like oh, oh. right you can relax and it creates that cathar uh, catharsis catharsisism uh, that feel good feel uh, that's that's what's behind it everybody needs to, to to google that how to make men or women obsess over you use these three simple tricks to, to make women throw themselves at you that, that kind of shit uh, it, it's all in there uh, and that's that's one of it's one of the tricks um, so anyways uh, I hope this uh, hope this gives y'all some some more clarity by all means sound off in, in the comments uh, let me know what you think I want to hear from you uh, and we'll, we'll go from here. So we'll see you on the next video.